Hello, students and parents. I wanted to go over the Wax Museum project that we're going to be doing. This is the highlight of my of the whole third grade and year, as far as I'm concerned. Like the big, the big project, the big thing that we do. I love it. Unfortunately, with everything going on this year, we may not be able to do it the same way we've done in the past, as far as going to the gym and dressing up so all the parents and students can come during literacy night and look at everybody. I don't know what February and March is going to look like it. So <clears throat> one day at a time. Although I, I do all I know is you will be doing this project. Even if you are just presenting at home in front of a video camera or your camera on your Chromebook and showing it to me that way or presenting in front of the classroom with your peers. Either way, we will be doing this project. And this comes with a big packet of paper. I want to make sure that you realize that not every single one of these pieces of paper is a individual by itself. There are some things that include information you might have on another paper. So I'm going to go through each one and show you what needs to be on them. In the end, you're going to have a presentation board that you're going to need to purchase at Dollar Tree, Walgreens, wherever. They're not very expensive, like four to five bucks. And you're going to have all your papers, not all of them, but some of them on here. Now, this one you used way more than you needed to, which is fine. Still looks good. So they blink them. Um, you've got just different things on there that I'm going to show you here in a minute. Another example here is Martha Washington, one of the first ladies, the very first lady, actually. Um, so this is a uh, pretty cool. She's got a picture portrait up there. Some of the papers, but not all of them. The main thing is facts. You know, you're going to be researching, or your student is going to be researching a person from history. Um, they most of them are probably not going to be alive anymore. Some of them might be. It depends. I've got a list I'm going to give you, and you can pick like the top three, and I'm going to go through and choose them all. Sometime after Thanksgiving break, I'll let you know who you end up with. If you don't pick, I'm going to give you one. And then you'll be researching that person, either going to the library to get a book or going to the public library to get a book, researching online. Either way, you need to make sure you can find some sources. There is a possibility that I'll let you write in a name if you have somebody in mind, like the creator of Pokemon or something, that you really love, that you want to, you know, emulate into um, research and become that person. You'll dress up like them and you'll present about a 30 second to 60 second speech about that person. So first of all here, biography introduction. It's basically where you just say, from my biography report, I chose research. Abraham Lincoln or something. Uh, they are best known for their fight against slavery and the Civil War and all that. Um, they were born on this day and they died on this day. This is the kind of page you could put on your board, on your bulletin board. Okay. The next one is character traits. This is another thing you could put on your board. This is where you learn about their character, what kind of a person he or she was. Three character traits they were known for. As you research them, you're going to find things that they were known for. I'll help you if you can't find anything. We'll find it together. There will be something. Okay? And you'll listen, lo, lo, list what they're known for. You know, what is their best known for? Okay? <clears throat> childhood. You're going to learn about their childhood. You know, some of them will be harder to find than others. We'll do this together if we need to. There'll be plenty, there's plenty of research books and materials out there. Though. Three important facts about their childhood. Okay, one, two, three. You may or may not put all of these pages on your board, like I said. The ones that you get the most information from, the most detail, the most exciting things. There are some pretty, really interesting, fascinating things about a lot of these people. Um, and then you have adulthood. Now, adulthood takes up two pages because you can find about five facts or accomplishments, okay? Facts about their life's work, about their accomplishments, what they did. Like um, Christian Johnson, or Catherine Johnson, sorry. Catherine Johnson, Johnson, the one who um, helped the um, mission to send a man around the earth and to the moon and everything. She passed away this past year, actually. Pretty sad. But she was amazing. Um, and there's a lot of people you can do. Like I said, you know, they don't have to be dead yet. Um, influence and legacy. What kind of influence do they have? Do they have Nobel Peace Prizes? Um, do they influence uh, solving hunger? Or, uh, like Audrey Hepburn, you know, going over overseas to third world countries and helping poor, poor people and helping all sorts of civilization, you know, helping different people. You're going to learn a lot about different people when you pick them. 
Now, three ways our world is different today because of them. Okay, that's what I mean by influence and legacy. How is the world different because of them? All right. This is kind of where you put all of that information in a smaller format if you just want to stick this on your board. Story of so-and-so's life. This is your, their name, birthday, childhood, accomplishments, you know, young adulthood, adulthood, hardships that they may have had to endure, you know, that kind of thing, and trivia. Fun facts, fun trivia, you know. Did they win a Nobel Peace Prize? Or did they get a number one hit? on the, on the uh, top music charts for, uh, you know, a year or two or something like that. If you want to take a Garth Brooks or somebody like that, welcome to take Garth Brooks. Um, that'd be fun. All right, so the Wax Museum Checklist. This is the main list that you need to pay attention to everything that you should have done. This helps you, the student, um, and the parent make sure that everything's getting done. Did you read the biography? Um, did you write about their life? Did you learn learn about their timeline that we'll talk about in a minute? The quotable, that's, did you find a good quote? Something that they said that's worthwhile that you can um, put on your board. Something that is, they're known for, or even is just a really good quote. Um, a portrait of them, that's important too. Focus words, we'll talk about in a minute. A poem isn't necessary. You can write a poem about them if you want to, if you're feeling particularly um, po poetical. Um, <laughs> Life principles, we'll talk about in a minute. Narratives, that's what you write about them. You're writing a story about that person from their point of view, pretending you are that person. Like, I am Abraham Lincoln, I was born this date, and I did all of these things in my life, and I died this date. That kind of thing. So basically, that's just that. Um, due dates will be sometime probably in February or March. We'll work on this throughout December, January, and into February. This is kind of to help you with your script with that speech that you're giving, the 60 to, you know, 60 second speech. You start with, hello, my name is so-and-so. I was born in when I was a child, when I got older, when I grew up. It just gives you a way to start each of those sections of your speech that you're writing, okay? And this is something kind of cool you can do too, award them a medal of honor, like, um, so and so is awarded the this medal for being able to help the astronauts into space. Or winning a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Apparently, I wish I could win it. Um, this is a portrait. Now I know not everybody's an artist. That's so fine. I've had people have their sisters and brothers draw them. However, you can also print out a picture of the person and put it on your board too. But drawing a picture works as well. Just draw their hair, eyes, whatever mustache, beard. Okay, you're gonna have to find life principles about them, okay? Figure out, and this is a list of life principles to choose from. Things that they had, you know, we do life skills at Patrick Henry every week. There's a different life skill. This week is active listening, and one week is you know, just kindness, things like that. And how is your person, you know, either, did they, did they operate in a life skill of humility, or loyalty, or patience? or respect. This is just a, a good list for you to kind of get an idea of how to go with that. And you use this, you know, they operated in this life skill. They demonstrated this life skill with this, you know, this life, this life principle, okay? That's just, again, something to help you find out more about your person. You know, if you can't think of a good life principle, um, I can help you with that too. Focus words, this is just where you would write down your focus words. This is an example. Okay, this throws off people a little bit because they're like, what is this? This is an example of what I mean for you to do here, okay? Courage, if you chose courage from the life skill or life principle list, you would put it there and you would tell me how they um, were courageous, okay? So you're using that. This is, this is just an example sheet of what you're gonna put here. I provide these little boxes for you to write timeline events, life and life events in your person's life, you know, George Washington crossing the Delaware or, you know, deciding, deciding to sign up to be president or the revolution and all that stuff. There's all sorts of things you can do with Washington and Lincoln and any of the other heroes of our country. Um, and the final say is, again, I get to choose whether or not you do get to choose a person if you ever write in or not. That's up to my discretion. Anyway, um, life 
as an adult and what is your character famous for? This is just another paper for you to brainstorm on. Okay, this doesn't necessarily have to be filled out or something that has to be on your board, but this is just for you to brainstorm with. While you're researching, you're gonna find things about their life, you know, to write down. Maybe about their career or their hobbies. Do they collect slinkies or slingshots or something? I mean, Abraham Lincoln was a great, uh, he was great with a slingshot. And people don't know that, but he liked to go out into the woods behind his parents' house when he was young and, and use a slingshot to get animals to, to bring home for dinner. So, interesting. Um, seven important dates in your character's life. Again, this is to help you with your timeline, to put things in order. Social studies, we talk a lot about timelines. What comes first, second, and third. You're trying to figure out a good timeline for your person's life. And then when you find a good quote, this is for you a place to write it down. All of these papers are designed to help you keep your notes in order, to help you write down what you need and to see if you're missing anything. Again, this is another final page, the Wax Museum Research Project. Your character, your date of birth, death, place, if, if you leave some of these blanks because you wrote them on another paper, that's fine. The main grade to this is your final results, okay? Your final presentation. You standing in front of the camera or in front of us in person, if we can manage that, and talking about your person, okay? Martha Washington, you know, and you're talking in first person as, as if you are them. We'll talk a lot about that in between here and there. Again, we've got December, January, February, and that's plenty of time. And I'll get those lists out for you guys to pick names. It'll be exciting. It'll be fun. There's a lot of women in history, a lot of men in history that have done some amazing things. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes through graders. Thank you.